Hello everyone, David Lee here, back with another video overview of a unit that we did that incorporates project-based learning and design thinking. I hope you enjoy it. In this unit, students took on the role of Apple designers and engineers who needed to design an affordable Apple device that would allow English language learners to record themselves practicing and improving their speech fluency. For the entry event, my Apple distinguished educator friend, the amazing Steve Katz, live video chatted with my students to introduce the challenge and the driving question. The driving question he introduced was the following. How can your team of design engineers design and build an affordable voice recording Apple device for students? Our fourth grade students used the design thinking process to design and build their Apple device. To take on the role of Apple professionals, students gained an understanding of the Apple company's values through the use of a speech given by Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple. They discussed which values would be beneficial to their goal of designing an Apple product. They then gained knowledge in energy, the conservation of energy, and energy transfer by recording themselves drawing and explaining a complete circuit. Students demonstrated their understanding and how energy is moved from one place to another by electrical currents, which then can be used to produce motion, sound, heat, or light. Through exploration of electrical components, they gained the skills of applying scientific ideas to create a device that converts energy from one form to another. Their final task in the empathize stage was to gain an understanding of the end user. They thought about the daily lives of English language learners, how they interact with the environment around them, and also their needs. Next year, we hope to incorporate interviews with end users to gain an understanding of their thoughts, emotions, and motivations so that our designers could better determine how to innovate their device. In the defined stage, students constructed a problem sentence that reflected the needs or wants of the end user pertaining to the voice recording device. In the ideate stage, students brainstormed design alternatives, thinking up multiple wild ideas to go beyond the obvious designs. They then chose one idea or grouped multiple ideas into one and created a detailed blueprint that included measurements and materials needed. Finally, in the prototype and test stages, students created their devices, both completing their circuits and their casing using foam board, and tested them out to find failure points that they can improve upon. Hello, my name is Mr. Lee. It works like this. So you press the button that beeps and then you... Whoops! <laughs> and then you say something into the black hole, like, what's up? And then you press this other button and then it says it. They also learned how to use the X-Acto knife to precisely cut foam board into pieces with exact measurements. Some students learned how to score foam board to create one-piece casings. This project involved the following next-generation science standards. Thanks for watching. I would like to give a special thanks to Becca Guess and Jean McLaughlin for making this project possible. Feel free to click on the like button if you enjoyed the video and click on the video on the right to watch another project similar to this one and click on the left to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Yeah.